Eat. Hey, everybody. Welcome oh, to yes. Merch Talk. Oh, you told me to go live. Don't act surprised. <laughs> talking about cats and heat and you're live. You, oh, I think you did it on purpose. Okay. <laughs> he secretly has one cat. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so welcome to Merch Talk. We didn't get to make it yesterday. Hopefully, the other guys can come when they get this message, when they get the message that we're live. Um, yeah, so how's it going? It is going very well. Awesome. Everything is awesome. It is. I've got an echo, dang it. Okay. Because it's never you. I'm gonna find you today. I'm just gonna put that right out there. So yeah. I'm looking up, uh, nothing. <laughs> okay, let's talk about merch. How are your sales? My sales are awesome. Oh, I think you're beating me this month. Yeah, um, I was gonna pull it up, but um, yeah, I'm at one, where is it at? Where am I at? 103 right now, which is, I don't think I've ever been over 100 at the halfway point yet, except for December. So that was you? I was just loading in, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's been, I mean, I had a 14-day t-shirt day. I know some people out there have 20, 30 a day, but... When I get in the double digits, I get excited. Mm -hmm. And it's, I've had nothing lower than five. I agree. Things are picking up. That's good. Except for today. I woke up at zero and I'm still at zero. But it will pick up later. Yeah. I, I just, this is the first time I logged in today and I'm at five today already. So. Oh, you suck. No, it's no. really. No. It don't, what? Mango, not well, Margo. So far, I've only, uh, this month sold 84 shirts. So you're oh. winning. If it's a, a contest. We're both I'm winning. Huh? I'm always winning. You're always winning. Yeah. I'm a winner. You're a winner. You're the biggest winner ever. I mean, winner. Yeah. Um. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. So I thought, you know, I put on the topic for today, like, how do we juggle it all? Like, how do we? Yeah. Or, how do Thanks they? What? Thanks for the heads up. Well, come on. You either know it or you don't. I did, yeah. I, I I saw your post and go, oh crap, we have a topic today. I just wanted to do something. <laughs> Give us a little guidance. <laughs> and but to see like if you know other people have tips too. Just like how do you do it? Like how do I do it? How does anybody do it? Not it, but like upload on multiple platforms and keep up with lots of upload and things like that. <laughs> Cats and heat. Do we need a timeout? Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Since five o'clock this morning. Meow, 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 meow. Hmm. Now I'm at the wrong tree. Our other cats are fixed. Do you have any shirts about cats and heat? Because that might be a niche that you yeah, need. My good shirt. Yeah, I have to make one. Because I'm sure there are people that are out there like you that are banging your head against the wall. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to say hey in the chat. <laughs> hey, American <laughs> Yesteryear. Let's see. Is there, and so is Eric. Hi, Death Piles and Darlene. How are you guys doing today? Okay. Oh. American Yesteryear says, I'd like to discuss the royalty difference between Merch and Printful and Etsy. I did some number crunching. The same black shirt sold via Printful Etsy versus Merch only earned you 44 cents when the royalty, when the death settles on Merch, same shirt earns you 590, 538. What am I missing? She says. She says. Missing a lot because there's no way now. No, that's not right. Yeah, there can't. It's more than that. If it, you're selling a Bella Canvas shirt, a Bella Canvas is equivalent to a merch premium shirt. So, and the Bella Canvas on uh, Printful is at twelve ninety five, I think, or thirteen ninety five base price. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm trying to do a little quick screenshot real quick. Oh, look who joined us! Hey, Joe. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Yes, we're talking about cats and heat. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no, real fast. Let me share. Okay, so this is on Printful. I just took a quick screenshot. This is for a crop top. So they paid thirty dollars for the crop top, and so my profit's eleven dollars and twenty-four cents. If you're on Printful, you should be able to pull up your sale. Like eat on each sale, and it'll show you like this is what the customer paid. This is how much you're paying Printful to take care of it. This is what your profit is. 
Yeah, um, I'm still looking at something. <clears throat> okay, yeah, Bella Canvas starts at twelve ninety five a shirt. The premium merch shirts start a lot higher than that. I mean, at, just say okay, merch um, at twenty ninety nine. If you're selling it for twenty nine nine, the premium shirt, you're making four sixty four profit. So merch. If you're selling it for the same twenty ninety nine, you're making um, almost eight dollars profit. You know, minus a couple fees depending on what platform you're on. I don't free ship nothing, so screw that. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at her. She's adding in the printful shipping, and the printful shipping is nowhere near five dollars. It actually comes around to three something. And they pay that on top of the price of the shirt. Yeah, they're, they're paying shipping. Yeah, and then the transaction fee is 20 cents on Etsy, not 30. And then 3.5% commission, yeah, 3.5% is the Etsy, like, final value fee when you sell it. But they're paying shipping on top of the price of the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So Amazon has a slight advantage, I'd say, there, because they are doing free shipping, and they got the traffic. But... Um, yeah, and I do a lot of my T-shirts on my own website, so the only thing I'm paying is the PayPal um, processing fee. Yeah. So I'm making that. That's why I try to direct people to my website rather than the other places. Like if I sell something on eBay, I put in a card that has my website information on it. So hopefully I'll get return sales on my website, which I do. So... How are you doing, yeah. Joe? We are doing oh, uh, they're pretty good. I've been getting sales every day this week, so I'm excited. Yeah. Picking, <laughs> picking up from February. God, February is really slow, so yeah. It's going a lot better this this uh, month. It's been a lot better. So, no yesteryear. You charge print. Um, you're charging shipping separate. There's no free shipping. I mean, unless you make it free shipping on Etsy. Which I don't rec recommend, and I don't see many people doing. So that they're, they're going to pay Etsy if you do the push from Printful. Etsy's going to put in their, and I'll bring one up, their shipping fee in there. Go to my listings, and it's usually like three or four dollars. So they're paying that on top of whatever they pay for the you charge for the shirt. Yeah, I'm trying to pull up one of mine. Yeah, on Etsy and on Printful, I would take shipping out of it because more than likely you're charging for shipping. Etsy puts in Printful garment flat rate. Uh, it doesn't tell me what the price is. Oh, they do are charging five dollars shipping. Yeah, it's about five dollars. So you're actually making money off the shipping as well because. Um, I edit it in um, eBay. I have it. I have to approve it. So I see what the shipping is. And first class is three thirty, I think, or you can go DHL for a little bit cheaper. So you're actually making a little under two bucks on the shipping. I ignore it. <laughs> I ignore it. <laughs> If you're watching this later, you can see the chat, so you can see the questions and stuff that she's asking. I, I understand what she's saying because with uh, merch, you kind of got to take in account the free shipping. Um, but I don't because merch is free. I mean, shipping is kind of out of the equation for me. The, on merch, they're get they're get the benefit of being a Prime member or whatever is they're getting the free shipping. You're a guy? Did I say it was her? I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't the know. Pic the picture's a girl on there, so that's why. It looks like a girl. Okay. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, to me, shipping on merch is a benefit of Prime. I mean, you're a Prime member. You're paying for that benefit to get the free shipping. So I take the shipping out of the equation. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think so. I, not the way I look at it. I take shipping out of the equation. 
because on merch, it's a benefit of Prime. Everything else, they're paying for the shipping. So I take shipping out of the equation. And like I said, with Printful, you're actually making money on the shipping if you're on Etsy. Like on eBay I, and my, my website, I set the shipping cost. Okay. That's just my philosophy. That's the way I look at it. Amazon's given their Prime members free shipping. That's part of a benefit. It's separate from this T-shirt. Yeah. I mean, I, definitely the Amazon's got the, the leg up for sure because they get the traffic and they've that, got the, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't make as near as many sales, but is it worth it? Yeah. It's worth it for me to go over there. So. Yeah, I had a couple of people on my latest videos, you know, asking the same question, you know, I'm only making two or I'm only making three or four dollars profit. Is it? I don't think it's worth it. You're uploading a file. You create a file. You're uploading it once to two or three pods, and then it's magic. You don't you do, do anything yeah. except for watch the money roll into your PayPal account. So I don't care if it's two or three dollars a shirt. You know. Yeah, yeah. it's it is because it, it's like front load uh, like front loading success front loading payments that are going to come in later you know yeah and if i pay 20 cents to get this listing up on etsy for four months and it's going to bring in you know three four bucks hopefully hopefully so that's a question for you mm -hmm. uh, because it's something i've been i've messed with before when i was on etsy and i kind of thinking now if a shirt doesn't sell in four months, are you going to re remove it or are you going to uh, just keep going? No, I will, I will renew them. Yeah. And just hope that one day. Makes well, a sale. I have, um, fortunately, I've got a lot of free uploads right now from sharing the, the link for 40 free listings. Now, if I didn't, I would have a different approach. So maybe I would not, you know. Maybe if it sold, but but then the things that have been selling have been all just random stuff. You know, some sometimes there are ones that definitely do better. So something something to think about. Maybe closer to Q4, making sure they're all active for because Etsy sales do increase during Q4. Oh yeah, right. So my last run on Etsy, November December was my I was cranking in thousands. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, even in my reselling, Etsy beats out eBay during Q4 for me. So, I guess the way I'm looking at it now is I am new again on Etsy, and I'm not raking in the sales like I used to. Mm -hmm. In fact, I haven't had a sale probably in five or six days, and so that kind of anxiety, fear sets in, and then the 20 cents adds up. I have 300 listings right now. Right. You know, times 20 cents, I'm not gonna do the math, but, so you see where I'm, I mean, if I was raking in the sales and making us even just two sales a day, yeah, that would be fine because that's a lot of profit and that would make, you know, pay for all that 20 cents and I'm talking with my hands. That's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking at it as a newbie perspective again. That kind of makes you conscious though when you're um, paying for all those. Just think if we had to pay twenty cents to list on merch per item, you know? That'd be yeah, crazy. exactly. That's why I, I haven't. Or thirty I, cents, you know? I mean, golly. I've been hesitant be on my Etsy listings lately, you know, because each one, each design, you load up as you know, almost ten items. That's a. Is that a buck? No, that's two bucks, right mm -hmm. there, and so, yeah. When you have to pay for your listings, you become, yeah, I know it's only 20 cents, but. Yeah, yeah. But it, make, it makes you wonder, like, okay, so it kind of goes along with the topic, like, uploading to different pods, like, what's worth the time, what's worth the energy, what's worth the money, you know? Exactly. So what other ones, Joe, are you doing the other ones you are? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I just barely got on Etsy. I need to do it more. I haven't done it. It's enough. I, I want to. I just don't. I just haven't had time to do it. Do you do any like on print, not uh, Teespring or Redbubble or anything like that? Or not oh yeah, I do some on. I do so. I do have a bunch of shirts on Teespring, but I've been doing that for a while. So I just need to switch over to Etsy instead of doing Teespring. I need to do Etsy. Teespring's dead. What? Yeah, you Teespring's did. dead. It's not. I don't like that anymore. So I need to move over to Etsy. They did come out with um, this week. 
um, they've had leggings for a long time, but you had to request a special link to load the le legging and uh, save that link. Um, but they finally added it to their product list now, so you can easily add leggings to Teespring, but they're dead. I haven't had a, I even emailed them more as a joke of saying, is my store on? Is anybody home? I haven't had a sale in five months. And oh they replied gosh. back. They finally replied back and said, uh, yeah, your store appears here. You can go to this link. And they're all serious. And oh, just, my gosh. Because, yeah, it's it's been dead for me. So I haven't loved, loved anything. So would you, like, so I'm thinking about starting, because I've been focusing more just merch and Etsy, but maybe doing more on Redbubble rather than jumping back on Teespring. I would do Redbubble. Yeah. I, I have I've slowed down December and January I was doing a lot of uploading on Redbubble and uh, a couple other pods but I've slowed down there I've been doing more of the Etsy and Amazon okay so what's, what tier are you guys on I know <coughs> I'm on 2000 you're on 2000 yeah. you're 2000 so how many uploads is that a day for you guys 100 100 yeah Okay. I'm not uploading a hundred a day though. I wish. I know. But I was gonna say like so that that was the kind of topic I brought. I wanted to talk about. How do you handle like coming up with designs, coming up with titles, keywords, multiple, you know, putting it on multiple platforms? Like, how do you juggle it all? Well, I don't do a hundred a day. Yeah. Like Joe said, but um, I'm lucky if I do fifteen to twenty. And right now, I'm mainly just doing reloads of the 90 days and going back through my old list and making sure I have them up as long sleeve through hoodies. And then I've only done, I've done two new designs this month, I think. Personally, you made them or like you bought them? Um, I bought a couple. I've done more than two because I did, I bought a, a SVG pack and I took some of those and uploaded those as t-shirts. And then I think I designed actually to myself um but i've only uploaded them to basically merch and then a couple of them to etsy again with the 20 cents i'm more selective of what i and i'm thinking when i'm going to etsy i'm thinking female mom buyer which i'm not trying to be offend anybody or be sexist or anything like that but that's what the market is on etsy so um yeah I love you? my Second Amendment stuff is selling on Etsy too. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, yeah. Joe, what about you? How are you getting your? Are you making new designs? Or are you? How are you getting all your stuff done? Yeah, I'm doing like actually, I have a designer, and so um, I'll just send something to her. And I actually been doing like scale designs lately, so I can just get like one shirt, and then we all just upload like twenty of that one shirt, that scale design, and that works. A lot better for me. Scale designs. So if somebody so, new, like, what do you mean by that? Like, they're like, I don't know what that means. Oh, like a skill design. Like, say I'll do, um, like something for like a family. Like a, like maybe I'm doing like a military shirt or something. Mm -hmm. Like proud mil. I'm proud. You know, I'm a proud mom. Mom, or proud dad of a military daughter or something. But then I'll just change out mom to dad, brother. Sister, aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, cousin, grandma, yeah. grandpa, up to like 20, 20 relatives, you know, you can do, you know, you could do stepmom, stepdad, you know, like, I'm a proud stepdad of a military, you know, the, however. And so yeah. by doing one shirt, I just change out that one word and I can scale it because people are looking for that too. So, yeah, you can definitely do that with like, Birthday, you know, the hottest dudes are born in 1967. The hottest dudes are born in whatever, you know, like. And then, and actually, then with my um, Merch Lister Pro, I just put in that one listing, and then I just push that one keyboard thing, one keyboard, you know, option, you know, and then it goes really fast. And then we'll, I'll just change out the name for every one. So it makes it, it makes it really go by. It makes it go by really quick. And so I can, I try to upload maybe if I can, like 50 a day, if I can. If I'm doing it that way, I'll do like 50. If I'm doing it individually, it's more like probably like 15 or 20, like yeah. Jeff said. Yeah, the re cause I think that's like the research. Once you get the designs, like the research, getting the keywords, that's where 
I'm, I feel like I'm good at it, but it takes the time like to get all the right yeah. stuff in there. And I, I use like Merch Informer a lot. And I also do, I also got Michael Essany's book or Merch Guide. So like I have all these resources where I'm getting all my ideas from. So it makes it easier for me than just to like think it up or do my, I have to do my own research. I'll, I'll just look up these other ones. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. I love, I love Merch Informer. I'm on there every, every time I'm on there. And I get it. Actually, I get a lot of my, Sometimes if I'm doing it on my own, I'll get a lot of resources from like the uh, creative market.com. Yeah. And uh, I, I've got one time I bought a, I found like a design on there and it was like a t-shirt. And so I looked on merch and see if it was on there and it wasn't. So I bought it and I bought it for really cheap, like maybe like $10 and had like these three shirt designs on there. And I mean, I kind of like manipulated them. And I had one, sh one of those shirts I bought for like I that one of those graphics I bought for $10. I mean, three, three graphics came with it. I ended up selling like 60 or 70 of those. So it was awesome. That's great. Yeah. So I use creative market like crazy. So. And on there, I, does the, when you buy it, it tells you like if it's okay for commercial use and all that. Yeah. It tells you if it's okay for commercial use. Actually, I think if you get the standard, um, you have to, you have to double check on this, but I think if you get the standard, you can sell up to like 500. Right. Yeah. Sell more. You have to like, you have to buy the extended license so you can um, be unlimited. So. Yeah, I bet if I had a shirt that sold five hundred times, heck yeah, I would love. I'd buy the extended license. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, tra yeah. I track each shirt where I got the graphic, so I can yeah. like, just for that reason, if I happen to sell, I, I have never sold five hundred shirts. Yeah, I never yet. have either. Yeah, the most I've had was like a little bit over two hundred, and that was my own design. So, yeah, so it's it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, I go to Creative Market a lot. I uh, I use Free Pick a lot, but Free Pick you have to make sure it's not the main element. I fudge that sometimes, but I feel like yeah. I I use Mer uh, Make Merch a lot lately. I haven't been yeah. my Illustrator very much lately because it is like it's a number. It's a it's a it's a time game. Like time is money, and I don't have yeah. time now that I'm homeschooling and doing all this stuff. Trying to you know now we're going to be moving. But if I get on Make Merch, I can create a design and like edit it or change it up really quickly, really easily. And they keep adding new stuff all the time. So it's a lot yeah. of times I just get in there and I can just when I start playing around with some of the graphics, I get an idea just from looking at the graphics and the filters and something will come. Yeah, I don't let that part trust me out. I don't I don't tell myself I have to have so many new shirts up and I don't do the numbers game. I just if I come up with an idea or see an idea, and I'll do it. And once I start working on T-shirt, I get anxious to get it up right away. You know, to hurry you throw up and get it up. But, yeah. Yeah, I just do what I do, and every day when it, I I try to spend an hour on merch a day. So I'll go through and see what I need to be re-uploaded. I'll go through my list and see what needs to be added as long sleeve. And then I also have it checked off of my list, you know, what market it's on, what POD. So if I'm working on one on merch that I see, I don't have it on Etsy yet, then I'll go ahead and load it up on Etsy too. You know, one design will probably take me about, once the design's done, probably 20 minutes or so to upload to all the pods I want to upload it to. Yeah. And the only, and only thing I worry about right now is Redbubble, Etsy, merch, and my website. Ones. Red bubble. I'm gonna try putting more up there. Yeah, and I'm gonna part start doing more on Rebel just the stickers or whatever. Get my leggings up there. I mean, because I only have a little bit up there right now. So you say it's a lot easier because you can upload it and then just pick all the stuff you want it to be on. Right. And if it's good, like if you you've done where you have a white text and a black text. Mm -hmm. When you're doing most of us do white text type items or white that will go on black shirts so if you go through like the stickers that doesn't work out so it's great because when you get down to the stickers you can they have replace image so you can replace it with the reverse version so it'll look good on the sticker okay. the same thing with the mugs you can make the mug black if you want to or you can replace the image to make it good on a white mug yeah so it that's nice a t public is one i was doing they do the same thing they even make it even easier. You don't even have to do that because they, they'll put white around it or whatever. 
Um, but I have ne I have yet to get a say on Tee Public. Real fast, I saw that American <laughs> Nestor here sent a super chat for two dollars. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. And Rob, wait, Jimmy Dazzle Me says, what's the best app to use with the templates to create a design? Do you mean like I guess on the phone app, right? Is that what you mean? I like vintage design. Oh, I don't know. You can use the over app or you can use vintage design app. I love the vintage design app. It's so fun to play with. Yeah, it's really easy to use too. So I do that all the time. I use it. I use it this morning already to make a couple of designs. So like that. That's the, oops. I'm, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I oh, where is it? I'm just trying to show you the logo. No, I just right into mine. So you can see some of the ones I made there. But um yeah. I get an illustrator. <laughs> I don't. I haven't used it. I mean, I have all those apps, and I use them once in a while. The what's the word, word one, word art. Um, what's it called? Are you calling somebody? And if you want to, if you want to, if you're like having a hard time with, um, I actually I found this. I've been getting a a lot of questions and um, a lot of uh, newbies on tier tens asking me to check out their designs, and um, they have great sayings and great phrases. But a lot of thing I think I see lacking is like the topography and the placement of the words. And if, if, if you want to learn the placement of the words, and that's what mainly what I did, if you want to learn how to make your words, just if it's text based, make it look really cool, check out Word Swag. And there's that's another one called, um, it's, I use it all the time, and it's called uh, Typo Rama. And you, you have to pay for these apps, but um, if you type in your, your phrases, um it, it'll you can click through it and there's like thousands of ways it'll show how to put those together and then you can just you know go back to your however your illustrator or pick monkey and then you can just you know do it like that because most of these other ones you can't use their fonts or you can't use their um you so can't you use their way but you can at least learn learn how to do topography from these apps so I, would, I use I would Word Swag all the time, and there's another one. I think it's called Word Dream. I don't have my iPad in front of me. It's yeah. basically the same thing as Word Swag, but they've been really, really doing a lot of updates lately and pushing out more whatever yeah. you want to call it, templates or fonts or exactly. I mean, they were made for doing quick memes for Instagram or Facebook yeah, yeah, for Instagram, and Facebook. But exactly. You just do it without the background. And then you can bring it into your other program and size it properly. I'll see if I can make some like little quick examples, and I'll, I'll show it here in a minute. On which one? On Word Swag or Type of Rum. I'll try to make something up real quick, and we can do it, show it. If you if you're watching later and you've got a good process for how you create and upload to different pods you know leave a comment and let us know because we can all kind of get ideas from each other or how you scale you know yeah. you'll have to give your ideas but you know just learn from each other it's cool nana beth in the chat says happy day oh happy day all so excited got approved for merch it only took eight days yay mm -hmm. that's great i mean when i see a design i i have a if I see, I see something I like, I'll download it and put it in a folder, or I have my notepad on my iPad, iPhone and all that, so if I see an idea, I'll type it out. I get home, I'll do a quick search on with Merch Informer to see if that idea is up there already and how, you know, if there's 400 of that one phrase, I won't bother. If there's only uh, 10 or so, then I'll jump on it. Um, I'll look for a graphic for it. And then when I'm done, I'll upload the merch. While, and I upload the merch standard t-shirt only. And while it's going through its thing, I'll go ahead and upload it to Etsy and my website. And then by then, hopefully, it'll, that t-shirt will be in processing or approved. And that tells me it passed the screeners. And then I'll go ahead and upload it on merch for the other products. So all that takes about, like I said, 20 minutes. Well. You okay? I just, yeah, my brain is in a couple places, obviously. Um, okay, so Death Pause, I missed this question earlier. Is there a way to differentiate in your title between standard and premium shirts? I heard you're not allowed to put premium in the title, but it could be wrong. I've been putting premium in the title 
You can't talk about like it's super soft or. You can't describe the shirt. You can't say, you know, buy a size up. But yeah. I've been putting premium in the title if it fits. Um, and I've been putting premium in all capitals. I put a hoodie, like if it's a hoodie shirt, I try to remember to put sweatshirt or long sleeve because you said because it's not in there in the description. Right? On one of them, it is. I forget which one it is. I think, I think no, not premium. I think it's long sleeve. I don't know, but yeah, I go through and I replace t-shirt with sweatshirt, long shirt sleeve, long sleeve. Usually, I fill up the title so much I can't fit long sleeve in there, so I make sure I I add it to the the. the uh, bullets in the uh description yeah and now i see why people because we were in austin and now i see why we may be wanting to sell more hoodies because it was cold i couldn't believe it it's like three hours away two and a half three hours it was really cold in the morning and the evenings randy's like i bet you get a hoodie now like, i didn't sell a lot of hoodies lately um i actually track see what it is uh, i've only sold 37 hoodies but I, and I've only sold nine sweatshirts. The sweatshirt seems to be the stepchild of the group, <laughs> to me at least. I'm looking to see where you're seeing. Does it break it? Where does it break it down for you? No, I have it. That's one thing I track on my spreadsheet is uh, what style sold. All right, pretty much. There's some homework for you. <laughs> you need to learn how to break it down. They probably could because they can see it on there. 1855 standard, 63 premiums. 86 long sleeves, and nine sweatshirts, and 37 hoodies. <coughs> so what's, do you have a theme going right now? Like what's selling more? Like is there a certain theme of shirts? Um, I have one religious shirt that's been selling off the hook every month. And then Second Amendment has been big lately. And I'm looking through, and I can't really, what's the next biggest thing? A couple tattoo shirts have been doing well ink shirts yeah but yeah, you know, that otherwise it, it's the same i mean if i look at my month i don't track by day but if i look at my month it's the same ones every month are selling and in uh was it young or glenn young young brought this up in his group um i've noticed but a lot of the new shirts that i've recently added this year have not been selling it's mainly older shirts huh. I've been having like a mix of both. Actually, I have a I've had a lot of new shirts have been selling. So now I want to go look. But then I have old old ones that I've been selling too that I've never haven't sold in a long time. So I mean, like I I said before, I haven't added a lot of new designs this year, but they haven't sold. It's all been older shirts. One of mine that was one that I put up. It was just like a simple text shirt and. I was just, if it fell off, I wasn't going to renew it. It's now my, one of my top sellers for this month. So I just randomly out of nowhere started selling. And of course I hadn't raised the price on it yet. I think I talked about that last week. So I raised the price on it now, but it was like 50 cents or something like that I was getting for shirt. That's nice. Right. It's up now. I'm just counting right now. I mean, it looks like I have about 20. 20 new shirts this year <laughs> and i don't think any of them have sold well no no they haven't sold either my jesus in the bunny suit hasn't sold oh you need to put that on tank top because yeah. you put jesus in a bunny it's not gonna sell <laughs> <laughs> <You're right now. laughs> No, they were East, overtly Easter shirts, but they were Easter e shirts. I just added one Easter shirt, and it, it's I mainly did it for kids because it's just the bunny face in the shirt. I'm sure it's been done many times. Bunny face, yeah. Lincoln bunny face. The bunnies. Yeah, I'm hoping. Like, I, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if this one wins out because on my Patreon, like one of the levels, I share my top selling shirt for the month. And explain like what I did. I'm like, what am I? I guess I'll just have to share. <laughs> this was a surprise. Sometimes there's like, you know, a dark horse in the running that you didn't even know. Yeah. It is a oh a bunny and a Jesus suit. <laughs> I was about to say I did do that, but no, not a bunny and a Jesus suit. <laughs> that would be weird. That reminds me of uh, Men in Black. I was just gonna say. 
I forget the guy's name though. Oh, Edgar. <laughs> Edgar. Edgar suit. Yeah, Edgar suit. <laughs> He's like an Edgar suit. <laughs> yeah. We just watched that not long ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Good movie. Good movie. Yeah. Weird sounds. <laughs> Apparently Jesus in a bunny suit is not weird enough then. Give it time. You need to let it mellow. Yeah. I'll let it mellow. But like a shirt like that. Let's ask you, after Easter, 90-day rule, it got removed. Would you go ahead and re-add it right away, or would you wait till next <sighs> Easter? Well, not an Easter shirt. I probably wouldn't add it right away. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't add that right away. We have 4,000 million slots. I mean, but I, I hear stories of people saying, okay, I took my – I uploaded my shirt with 90 days, and it didn't sell. I had made, like, one sale, like, the second time. And then they said, I uploaded it again the third time, and it got, like, 20 sales. I'm like, wow. That's true. It's and weird how that works, you know? I mean, I don't know. Well, the ink shirt, I said that. Sorry. Go ahead. Ladies first. Go ahead. The, I was going to say, the ink shirt I just told you, the tattoo shirt that sold, it took three uploads until it started selling, and now it's selling every month and quite a few. Yeah. So I mean, it's weird. And we even say, because we have the, the chat, like, oh my gosh, a Valentine's Day shirt just sold, and it's like three weeks later. So you never really know, yeah. That's why I was asking you, because you have slots in abundance and we'll never fill them all. Would that, you just go ahead and upload it? What? <laughs> I said, is that a challenge? I will never fill them all. Well, I understand people in the low tiers. <laughs> you know, if the Easter shirt doesn't sell, gets removed in 90 days, I'm probably going to hold off, because I did that when I was the lower tiers. I, that held off to next year, like my Cinco de Mayo shirt. Yeah. But if you have slots in abundance, would you just go ahead and re-upload it anyway? And maybe, maybe. There's there's some that I scaled that I'm like, okay, these ones stuck, these other, you know, ten are rolled off. So yeah. So you just hold up you don't up re upload everything. No, 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 I don't. If it's a themed one like Zodiac, then I'll make sure to get those ones back up or stuff like that. I have. Uh, I got to get my Zodiac back up. Uh, also, has anyone seen Michael Essex training yesterday wor working with rhymes and idioms? No, but I bet it's good because I love – I mean, that, that was one of the things that when I started was like um, puns and idioms and things like that. So because it's fun. Yeah. Like in a pickle. You could have a unicorn in a pickle. I'm just saying one of my best sellers is a, a word play, I guess. I don't know if it's a pun or an idiom or it's a play on words. What is it? And I'll tell you. I can't tell you that. <laughs> well, you know, grammatically, you want to make sure you have it correct. Oh, I know I have it correct. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, I bought, and I probably, that one I should probably watch because it's getting up there. And where I bought it, they had a lower line go ahead pickle in a bunny suit that sounds like it would be good <laughs> i did a santa pickle for christmas time and it has sold maybe i'll do an easter pickle yeah pickles oh. huh? pickles easter pickle yeah do it not very quick I got time today. It's nasty outside, so I'm not going to do any work outside today. Just put the little bunny ears on the end. You can have for every season, for every holiday. Don't do not do it. I'm going to do it. I'm doing the pickle in the bunny suit. That's fine. I'll do the pickle with bunny ears. You guys in these pickle shirts, I need to make one. <laughs> There's one that I still haven't made, and I've checked. Uh, it's a pickle shirt. I've checked um, merch several times and it's still not up there. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of bad humor. <laughs> the only one that didn't sell for me so far was my pickle menorah. Let me see if it's up there. Maybe it was up there. If it was a pickle menorah, then yeah, it was. <clears throat> no, yeah, I'm thinking of the design. Maybe they just hyphenated it. Did you guys do any like Olympic themed ones? Yeah, I did, but I didn't sell any. Oh, it's up there now. There's two of them. I can did do you it. sell any? 
I, I didn't sell any that were, well, I sold some that were like winter sport related. Like snow. Yeah, yeah winter sport related. That's what I did. I did that, yeah. But none of them sold. I did winter sport. Yeah, one, well, maybe two. Skiing and snowboarding. But I saw a lot of curling. I didn't do any curling shirts, but I saw, I guess curling was a new. Yeah, thing. that's what I did. I did a curling shirt. I feel like they didn't sell. Yeah. Oh, you put the hyphen in it, and there's a lot up there. So uh -oh. I don't want to do it. No, the other ones are stupid. I can do it better. I'm going to do it. <sighs> Al says, Michael did look at the bunny side of life or something like that. That's a cute idea. American Yesterday says, put four pickles on Mount Rushmore. There you go. I like it. I like it. Do it. Make it. Do it. Just kind of give them the features of the presidents, but still make them look like pickles. There you go. Yeah. Hey. That's a great idea. Or a volcano, but instead of lava, it's like pickles, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I think you like pickles too much. She does. Sounds like it. Okay. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Christine. She says, she says, I love your show. Thanks for doing them. Are you guys doing t-shirts now or hoodies or sweatshirts? All of them. All of them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to, I uh, got, just got through finished making all those um, little things on my, on this uh, typo Rama app. So I'm going to show that to you guys real quick. Is all right? Okay. Do you know how to switch it over? I think so. I don't know how to take it off. <laughs> it on it. Uh -oh. All right. Let me see here. I'll present you. All right, there you go. Did it come on? Yeah. Okay, yeah. See? Yeah. So I just made, I just made those on the app and then see how it puts it in your own cool way. You know, so. This is in Typo Rama? Typo Rama, yeah. And I just, you know, and see how, like, if you did it yourself, I mean, how good would it come out? Or, you know, th this is more of, more of, like, just to give you ideas of, like, what you could do or how it could look or. These are good. Is the Typo Rama an app on the phone? Yeah, it's on the phone. Typo Rama. Gotcha. Okay. So, I mean, it, I mean, if you try to do, I do like I said, other people were trying to do stuff and they were really cool cool phrases for like saint patrick's day but i was like you could i mean you could do this you could try this and i would i would like make these for them i would send it to them i was like try this you know so and then you just dropped them into illustrator uh yeah this is illustrator so i just put it i just send it to illustrator here for just to check it out yeah cool show you guys but yeah okay. that's what you can do type of wrong gotta look that one up. i don't have that one Yep. Yeah, so that's all. Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little app. I mean, you could do, I could have done word swag, but I could probably do some word swag ones here in a minute, you know? I mean, whatever. You can do, same thing for word swag. There's all kinds of different um, suggestions, different ways you can do stuff. So that's how I get, that's how I get a bunch of ideas, when, especially when I first started, because I had no clue. And so I use those a lot. So were these, I think Rob was asking that too. And I'm, are these ones good for commercial use? No, no. I use them for commercial use. I use them for their ideas, and then I make my own. And um, uh, I'll go to Pick Monkey, and then I'll just type it out the way I'll look at look at the example, and I'm like, okay, I'll make my own. I'll make it look like the example, but I'll just type. I'll just do it on my own. You know, I'll use Illustrator, and I'll I'll just take the idea, and then I'll make it myself. So then it becomes mine, and so it's I don't have to worry about commercial or anything like that. I can yeah. use all my all the fonts that I'm, I have, you know, that are, you know, that I can use for commercial and all yeah. the shoes are that way. So, yeah. So don't use typo ramen. Cause I looked on there you can't use it for commercial use at all, Gotcha. but you can use the idea. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Good so make it yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. okay. uh, typo ramen. I don't know. I think it's like $5. I don't two know. Book, I, two, I three dollars. I don't know. Can you tell? I don't know. I, <laughs> since I bought it, I, I don't remember how much it is. It's saying get for me. It didn't say any kind of price. Or maybe you can just get it. You know, I don't. Maybe it's not. Maybe it doesn't cost. I don't. Yeah, it didn't show any cost for me. Yeah, maybe there's no cost. So that's why it's no commercial. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm uh, I got an announcement. 
Okay. Uh, for the people that haven't uh, saw my video, but Printful is coming out with an app. Are they really? You didn't watch my video? No. I'm hurt. I was. I'm waiting for the like the one where you're doing the t the all oh. over print one. I'm gonna cry now. Okay. Yeah. I'll watch all your videos. Anyway, yeah, I'm beta testing um, <laughs> the uh, Printful app. And I, I did a video on it, and it's not much. It's not nothing really to jump up and down for, but it. I've been using it for uh, almost a month now. It works well. It's basically you can check your orders on it, you know, and that's about that's about it. And contact for info if you need to on it. But it's a stepping point, and hopefully they're going to keep on adding features to it. And it should release. It should release in a week or so. Or a couple of weeks because I was I wasn't supposed to say anything for a long time. And I finally got permission to mention it uh, this week, so I put it out there. And it's only iOS that I know of right now. Android losers, I don't know if you're gonna get one. But yeah, and my second announcement. Can I have two? Whatever you want. Whatever. Just do it. Um. <laughs> I did reach, I think I mentioned it last week on this show, if I got to 4K subscribers. Yeah. Us, so I did get to 4K subscribers on Sunday. So I have a video up if you want to go find it. And um, I'll click my name here so you can click on me and check it out after the show. But um, you have to be a subscriber to win. But all you have to do is leave a comment on the video. And if you just subscribe, then... I'm giving away $25 credit on my store so you can get a t-shirt, decal, or whatever you want. Or if you've been a subscriber for longer than a year, you'll get $30 worth. How so, can you tell? What was that? How can you tell? How can I tell? I don't know. I, I, there's a way to tell, but I don't know right now. So don't try to fool me. I won't. This is Jeff's thing, his site. No, cool. Go yeah. to videos, you know. Go subscribe. See, I'm subscribed. Cosfrog one. Yeah. I don't know why I have that. And now I feel bad that I didn't watch it because I just didn't know. Yes. Did well, you already do it? It's already done. No, uh, the winner's gonna be picked tomorrow around noon. Oh, okay. So people can still go. Yeah, you can still go in. Okay, cool. And do it because Margaret hasn't done it yet, so she just doesn't watch my videos anymore. I do, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to pressure you to pick me. I'm not going to pick you. I'm using that app you told me about. To round, oh, round I, the comment. I know, but I would feel bad if I won. That's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> I feel like somebody else should win. Or well, I'll, I'll go call <laughs> and I'll say, if I win, pick somebody else. I, I would do that anyway. As long as you're on the same page. <laughs> Margaret won, oh well. Oh well. Now, if you were giving away like a million dollars, then that would be a different story. Oh, what? Uh, there's a question. What video do they need to watch? Um, I'd have to find it. it. It was a video I posted on Monday. I'll go for what it. is the video titled? Uh, 4K YouTube 4K subscribers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So look for that. Thank you. Giveaway. There it, it is. is. Yeah, I <laughs> saw it right there. What you'll do is if you go just look him up, and you're just looking at his channel. Wait, where is it? Then you won't see it right away because the way he has his stuff organized, you can't see the recent uploads. I'll have to so change that. Recent uploads. Yeah, your recent uploads aren't right there. The first thing, your aquaponics are first thing. So you have to click on videos, and then it'll go to his uploads, and then you'll see it right there. Boom. I will update that today. Yay. There it is. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. Huh? There's the video on the Printful app that you didn't watch. I know. Hey, I was out of town, and my dad's in the nursing home right now. Come on, man. Give me a break. I'll, I'll forgive you. I'm going to lay it on thick. Yeah. I got a bunion. It's hurting. <laughs> I'm, I'm I, I try to jump on every video you do live. I, if I saw you go live, I would. Are we going to have I, I, I didn't go live. Yeah, we, <laughs> I, I don't go live often. Not in front yeah. of the guests. <laughs> the only reason I go live on yours is just to give you a hard time. I know. You're my number one troll. It's fun. It's I went on what I see she's on. I'll go on there. <laughs> it's yeah, a if I'm around and I mean, if I'm out back working, I'll go. Ah, oh, should I go in and watch her or not? <laughs> I came inside for this. That happened last week. 
Yeah. I didn't say that, but I just left. <laughs> you definitely said that. Oh, okay. We've got company. Can we have this argument later? <laughs> oh, yeah. are you talking about the kids here? The kids what? are watching. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's my announcements for the week. That's exciting. That's exciting. Two announcements. Now, Joe, you st you're still doing Patreon too, right? Yeah, Patreon, definitely. Yeah. So check Joe's Patreon out. Check my Patreon out. And it's not just you're giving people money. that You get something out of it. So there. I can sell it. You do designs, or, or you have designs, and your patrons can go to a website. Yeah. The website to choose a design. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I did buy one of Joe's designs. I want to put that up publicly. <laughs> cool. It was, nice design. it was he actually it was part of a series, which I, I normally don't like series or scaled up or whatever. No, these weren't scaled. This was just a series of one theme, and because another website does that, and it's like. I gotta buy them all, or I'm gonna be competing against these people. But it was a very good design. I liked it, and that's why I bought it. And it hasn't sold yet, but I'm, I, I'm. Confident. What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> confident. Confident. There we go. I'm confident it will sell. I have, I posted it up on Etsy, my website, and merch. Oh wow! So I thought it was a very good idea and a very good design. So. Yeah, I put I'm putting more designs on my uh, merch merch you designs uh, website too. So yeah, so. that's a separate one. I was wondering that. Like, is that's yeah, that was like a public one. People that's can go buy that. That's what I'm talking about. That's where I bought it from. Yeah, merch. the merch merch oh. you designs. Okay, so, that's um, now. For, stands for Merch University. So you can go to merch you designs if you're not a patron of Joe's, but if you are, then you yeah. have a place to buy probably better designs. I'm guessing. Yeah. If you're a patron, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I had to stop being patrons to everybody because when my husband lost his job, I didn't have, I was worried, honey. You know, so maybe I'll be back to coach all the good designs. You'll get him. You'll get what's it. Up with uh, oh, that's a discussion for later. What? I was gonna say, what's up with the uh, sponsor? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to, I've been, I still buy designs from them, though, so I don't mind plugging them. Mark, I'm subscribed, but I haven't What was it? It was, what was it again, his name? Uh, Oliver. Our yeah, Merch Oliver. Designs. Oh, Oliver's the guy's name. So, merch-designs.com. I, I, I'm still buying designs from there. I sold so many of his designs. I still sell a lot of his designs today. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, really good well, designs. I'm not putting them out of there anymore, so there. Yeah, I'm not afraid to tell. I buy I buy designs from uh, like two days ago from Design Candy over there, Travis. I buy his design too. I mean, and I haven't. Yeah, I need to go. I haven't checked out Design Candy in a while. I think, and there's there's some other ones. There's like Merch Juice, Merch. I mean, I, I mean, I I don't mind advertising those. I'm not in competition with them. I mean, they're cool guys. So yeah, I got the uh, uh, what do you call it? A Merch Candy where you get the subscription. Cause you pay the subscription fee or whatever, but I got like yeah. the lifetime. Cause when we and I was in Denver, it was, a deal. it was like, you pay so much you to get the lifetime membership. Yeah, exactly. I paid that, so it's just like now I just keep forgetting to get on there. I have unsubscribed from all of them except for the sponsored one. You don't have to be a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit for mine. Mine's open. Yeah. So I like yours. Open. Just come. I'm going to, I'm probably going to unsubscribe from the sponsor site. Sorry, sponsor, but I don't buy enough from you to pay that fourteen dollars a month. But you know, I know, I, and and Travis is not plugging the show or anything. Or oh something. yeah, but but he, I know that they've been doing a lot of research on finding things that are um, niches that are really starting to blow up or moving that. Anyway, yeah, they have some great ones. I know. Just look. I was like, I haven't looked in forever, and I'm looking like, and he's got some mashups, which you know I love. He stole the idea from you. Whatever, right? <laughs> the whole world stole mashups from me, right? These are cute ideas. Yeah. Hey, I did another one here. I'm gonna show it to you. This was this one's from Word Swag. Word Swag. All right, y'all ready? We're ready. I use that one a lot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't try it. 
There it is. <laughs> word swag. Get your, go get your word swag on. Yeah. Th these would be easy to make, you know, get a couple of arrows and then there's some lines and then throw I it in. Think, I think word swag is commercial. I'm not positive. Yeah, I think so. Cause I know, I know I used some a while back, but now you can spot them a mile away. But some of these yeah. are pretty bad, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This most of these are from like this one, like there's like one, I forgot what it's called on Word Swag, but I use it all the time. <laughs> but but yeah, it's it's a really it's a really cool part on there. It's called a uh, shout out. That's what it's called, shout out. Oh cool. Cause there's like all these ones, there's like punch out, there's uh the one on the bottom right is called Around the World and uh, yeah, they're just all different kinds, but yeah, I like I really like the one called Shout Out. So, yep, there you guys go. Word swag. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Oh, oopsies. At a word swag or? Yeah. Yeah, that Shout Out one, that one that was used for all those. Here, I'll show one that I did because because one that you like vintage design. Yeah, I like vintage design too. I mean, I just have a good one. Here's one I did there, and I don't I don't mind sharing it because I just don't care. So like that's a design that I did on whenever there was a big to do about all the you know the importing you know turkey animals. <coughs> like oh yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that looks cool. Yeah, you did. That looks. I like that. All right. So I did a few like that on vintage design. That was pretty easy. Pretty cool. And you can buy different little packages to get more images and things like that. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That was another. Here's another one. And the same theme, like. I'm not a trophy, that kind of thing, you know. It's fun. It's fun to play with. Yeah, it's fun to play with. It's late for Irish shirts, so, huh? It's never late for Irish shirts. Sundays. Oh, I forgot. I bought this just for the show, and I didn't wear it. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Still has a tag on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to do Kiss Me. I'm not Irish, but I put out. But I put out. <laughs> Like, did he just say? Yeah. <laughs> you suck it. It's okay. I don't think this is a kid's show. There's, no, <laughs> there's a lot of them up there that says, I'm not Irish, but kiss me anyway. So, yeah, yeah. There were some that are on the, um, I was just looking at Design Candy that were like mashup Irish ones. I'm not going to say them out because I know they worked hard on these, but <laughs> there's, I'll show you afterwards because there's some pretty funny ones. So, good job, Travis, and your team. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're getting close to one o'clock. Is that a shirt you made that you're wearing, Joe? Oh yeah, actually I didn't make it, but I um I got the design off of Creative Market. But it's all these, and then so like I I think I I did put it on I did put it on the sale, but I'm the only one that bought it. So yeah. Ah. <laughs> I just I bought it for like. You know, long time ago for like eleven bucks. You know, when you could. So yeah, I love it though. I wear it like all the time. So I actually wear all my uh, merch shirts all the time. So <laughs> I have like five. So. I to order some from my. They're like really comfortable. So. Yeah, it's like tank tops from my Printful because I wear more. Well, when I move, I may need some long sleeves that aren't wear them here. So. Yeah. so someone said they saw a shirt that said Irish ish. Irish ish. Irish. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it says kiss me anyway. I'm a sooner. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a sooner. Yeah. I'm a sooner. Yeah. Is that a college thing? I yeah. guess. It's maybe. I heard of this college once. I'm watching March Madness right now. The Sooners are playing. They're getting beat by Rhode Island, but it's okay. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay, but <laughs> hopefully they win. <laughs> March Madness started? Yeah, it's today already. This is the first game. It's on right now. I'm watching. Oh. <laughs> Texas ish. There's yeah, do a March Madness sale on my website, but I don't want to go too long. Maybe I'll just do the final four or final year or something. I, I had a thing going. I had on my merch university, I was going to do like a um, a game where everybody got the, the like six, there's 68 teams, you know, that play. And I think I um, the game was going to be everybody gets like selected and they get picked with the team. And then, um, so you, so like, if I had Rhode Island and you had the Sooners, and if the Sooners won, then I would have to buy you a shirt, and then I'm out of the competition, you know. But you, you went on to the next round, and whoever 
that you were still Rhode Island the whole way, you know, and if yeah. you kept winning to the whole final four, you would eventually five people would have bought your shirts, you know. So well, that's fun. Yeah, but I only had like twenty five people sign up. So I was like, all right guys, next year maybe. So how many you need forty, right? You need uh, yeah, I needed like 40, 48 more. Because so. I mean, the most you would have to buy is one shirt. Because when you're out, yeah, the most you had to buy was one shirt. So if you got beat out, you know, but if you kept winning, yeah. you would have won at least five shirts, you know. Yeah, you had to try it again next year because yeah, like they did with the Super Bowl, the merch guys over there at uh, Merch Empire do like yeah. a video and like or on Merch Talk, you know, we can uh, what do you call it? Hype it up before because yeah. I, I think yeah, it's a good idea. It'd be fun. I should have did it for. I should have told told everybody on here, but next time I didn't know if I was gonna do it or not. It was like last minute, so but yeah, it's all right. There was, I mean, people wanted to do it, so just needed more people. Yeah, it would have been fun. I didn't pay attention, so I didn't know. Or I was okay. It's all right. No one had enough, anyways. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, well, I guess we better wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. I gotta watch this game. Watch the rest of these games today. So go to Facebook and join Merch University. Go over to um, Merch University on YouTube and also Jeff Davidson and enter his 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, All right. Whatever. And go down there and hit the thumbs up because I think we have like 60-ish viewers. Yeah, everybody go hit the thumbs up right now if you've never done it before. Just hit it. Oops, I hit the wrong one. That's okay. Oh, my gosh. Don't hit thumbs down. If we if we do not give you everything you wanted and more, then hit that thumbs down. It's fine. <laughs> but if, if Joe and Jeff have delivered all of the merch information of your dreams. <laughs> yeah. We try to give you lots of info. I, th I thought it was a good show today. I do too. Thanks for hanging out. My, my mood is way improved for sure. Yeah. You're good. Good, good, good. <laughs> good. That's what we're here for. Man, you should have worn those ears all show, man. I should have. They, I missed them. I bought them for the last week's show, and I didn't, didn't notice them. You got all that stuff in there, man. It's hard to find stuff. Yeah. I know. There's a cat in here somewhere. Are you selling that Nerf gun back there? Bingo. Yeah, I have to get the battery compartment open and make sure it works. I need a better screwdriver. That's yeah. Good. Okay. That's one of the Nerf guns that do sell. There's only three different. Oh, All okay. right. Well, I'll see you guys later. See you later, Merch Talk uh, viewers. We'll Bye. see you next week. Yep. See you next week. Bye, everybody. See ya.